M-I-G-O-S. Yeah, pick a track, man. Um, no, no, no. I'll show you, I'll show you what pops up. The, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you which one. I want to pick songs. the most songs. garbage one just to piss him Comes off. Comes up Slide featuring Frank Ocean, no, 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 Bad no. and Bougie, no. Motorsport. No. I'll Steph, tell you which one. Yeah. I love the track Walker Talker with Drake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this latest <laughs> album, 2018. Versace. Two. Play Versace. Okay. Yeah, all right. You're going to hate this. You're going to hate it. You're going to absolutely hate it. It's going to be hilarious. This is what makes me laugh. This was actually one of their first sort of... This is... Breakout tracks. 2013. Yeah, yeah. This is why it's going to make me laugh, right? Because 2013. All right. I don't like. Not. I don't like it, but I'm more open-minded. He's going to hate it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I love about right, it. Right, let's, let's, let's check it out. I love listening to new shit, man. The following presentation does not represent Australian opinion or intellect. Fake news, man. Fake news. Oh, you so sick. Are you Muslim? <laughs> You don't like this, uh, you don't like T.I. Uh, hey, yeah, like, hey, hey. you're set on the hey, fact hey, that T.I. shit. Who, hey. me? Yeah. Nah, man, I just, I, I, I like... Some of his stuff, I wouldn't name. I wouldn't say his shit, but I never just got a big kick out of listening to him. Do you like T.I. Malaka? Yeah. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> yeah. I was I was watching on uh, on Netflix. They got this Sound and Flow. Mm. I heard um, about that. I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. It's a pretty good watch, man. And they've got T.I. There. He's one of the judges, one of the guys that's making it happen. So I literally like have not listened to TI until that popped up and I was like, alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, were well, you listening to Boogie Rainy Days? It's like one of the only songs I like by him, man. He's not a bad rapper, but I just can't catch on to him. This is the toughest beat mm. of all time. Most sick chorus. Do. No visual. Oh, sorry, sir. Nate, do you rap? Nah. Nah? You? A little. That's how many this car had. Dude, that's how many this fucking cut man. Huh? Wait, oh, you're talking about me? Yeah, I didn't hear you. It's a good track. Yeah, it is a good track. Do you hear the rest of the album? <laughs> like one decent track on the entire thing. <laughs> Is this what is this? This is old now. Uh, 2018 came out. Oh, the right, last year. right, okay. I probably played it on my last birthday, man. Um, no, nah, dude, that's how many to get met. Yeah, as in, I think Merc. I know this. Do you remember yeah. Merc? IRC. It's probably a bit before your time. You don't remember IRC? Oh. Fucking hell, man, we're old. Yeah, this guy. It was uh, rap, like the actual room hashtag. That was the original hashtags too. Um, yeah, no shit. I didn't think of that. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Dude, they were the original hashtags. Hashtags in IRC were like everything. That's how you found. They were groups, like mm. rap, like uh, the way hashtags are used now. But yeah. yeah, like they were the chat rooms. You know what yeah. I mean? And then me and this guy were com- like always commenting in in rap. And then I know you approached me out of fucking nowhere. Like one day, I would have mm. been how old? I would. I was still in high school, so I would have been seventeen. No older than seventeen. No younger than sixteen. How old are you now? You're th- I think we're three. No, actually, we're one year apart. I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm 86. Yeah, I'm 84, so two years. All right, so you would have been 14, 20, 15, or at the youngest, and I would have been... Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I, I can't remember why you... Pr- I don't remember how... I don't remember how it happened. If I find my old computer, I'd probably be able to take it Yeah, but uh, actually, remember how a lot of people used to battle in these chat rooms as well? Yeah. You that, that, that maybe that kind of something that, you know... I oh, mean, you know okay. how it was. People just randomly start talking to each other as well. Yeah. And then um, I think the first time I met you was at Southern FM just down the road. Yeah, that's you right. Doing an this part was part of a group. Mm. Uh, Freestyle of Crimes. You, uh, Vaho and Serge. <laughs> and their names were Silent C. Fuck. Was it? Dizzy. Dizzy, and I can't remember the last one. Guilty. Guilty. You were guilty. <laughs> Dude, this is going back to like 2000 and. 2000? 2001? Fuck, man. Hey, dude, that was like literally just down South Road, like fucking five minutes. Warner, yeah, yeah, the Kingston yeah. Art Centre. And then um, I met up with them, they were doing an interview at Southern FM, and then I started hanging out with them, we were doing um, 
all the rap shit in the city, like all the battles. These guys were performing every now and then. I remember you performed at um, Kivotos and Kivotos Bar. Remember? I remember Kivotos. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't think I don't think you came to that, but it was Cherry Kivotos, Bar. Kivotos, man, it was like an old Empress. Greek bar. There yeah. was an Empress. I think the, our first gig was at Empress like, in Fitzroy. I don't know. That sound right? This yeah. is going back nearly twenty years, man. Uh, no, no, not twenty years, man. Yeah. Well, oh, you yeah, no been... shit. Fuck. <laughs> that's 2001 Damn. 2019 that's 18 19 years at least you were just over 18 probably yeah so guy nearly fucking 20 years anyway and then me and this guy used to go to all the battles and shit in the skate parks in the city yep and it was always just like it was always like just aussies then you random druggy just junkies you don't know what they are <laughs> and then there was like me and then this kind of like 10 georgians <laughs> this, this, this is the time when you had your weird hairdo too I probably just started. Yeah, you had. Yeah. yeah, you had your. You had yeah, your I used thing to have like a shaved on. head with like a rat tail, oh, yeah. like hanging down the side. It was yeah. like I can't even. Oh, it was. It was more than that. It was. That's like simplifying it <laughs> to the fucking. That's what it was, man. Nah, man. It was like. Fuck off. Man. And it was like half blonde, half something else. It's like you couldn't decide halfway through what color you wanted. You're a dumb cunt. Anyway, yeah, it was like, man. Say about that. Move, yeah, moving along. That. All right. Um, those questions that you keyed up. I had my fucking list. I was writing it today at work. It was like a 10-minute peri- uh, quiet period, so I started answering every fucking question you had up. But you literally had top 10 rappers or top 10 rappers to you, top 10 songs of all to- top 10 hip-hop tracks of all time, top hip-hop groups, top diss tracks, top choruses, and what was the other one? Oh, I wrote one down. I was gonna. I don't know if I told you guys. Uh, the best um, solid album. There was another one that you mentioned, which was pretty good, which was like, uh, I think like uh, an intro to, to a verse, like a start off to a verse. Yeah. Oh, like best you know, intro? Best intro, best start off to a verse, like that kind of stuff, the strongest. Oh, okay. Which cool. a few things popped up and came into my mind as well I've straight fucking, away. I've got to write all my shit down again, man. But I've, anyway. I've put a few, th- I've got I've got a list of maybe about uh, 10, 10, top 10 groups. All right. I was put together, say, dude. I was going to say, leave the artist question for last because that's we're going to get into a fight when that happens. It's too hard. And I've, I've got, yeah, I've got some notes here. I've got. <laughs> it was actually really, really hard to do. When yeah, it was. Thinking when you start thinking because about you start changing like, your mind, yeah, and then you're like, yeah, yeah. I'll be it's honest. so. It, okay, look. What do you rank? Like, what do you even pick in these? On you know, is it? Is well, it, it has to be your specific taste. Yeah, it is has it to be how talent? much influence it, it had on you. On the scene, that's sort of what I went and with. general talent. But I think it? first is always how much influence it would have had on you, yeah, as a person, because everybody has their own taste at the end of the because day. Because like when I'd put a name down, I would think this name looks, you know, it, it's not on the caliber and level of these other guys. But right. to me, that's right. I feel you like it relate is. to it. Yeah, yeah. But at yeah. least if you look at it, it looks stupid. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like you know, it's if like you talk commercially. You have to throw Ja Rule in the conversation, and there's no fucking way. Yeah, I'd ever put Ja Rule in the conversation of best hip hop artist of all time, best album, best song, nothing. I don't give a fuck. Who's that? Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> the hard thing is, I think for me is I'm obviously a little bit younger than you guys, so so your school of hip hop would be different. So the earliest releases that i remember is, is what i had was the marshall mathers lp yeah but i remember the 2000 LP. yeah but from what i can i was eight years old fuck i remember having that <laughs> cd and uh, i don't think i Doc- knew what rap was when i was eight yeah, years old Dr. Man. Dre, 2001 so they're both around 2000 yeah so then after that like obviously things kind of changed and then but i liked the 90s stuff so i had to go back in time so do you the would, research so you would have had thing. like exhibit restless yeah, man, I didn't That's think of that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really like, that. yeah, that yeah. early two thousands on kind of thing. I I, I like the nineties, but I had to go back and reeducate myself because I wasn't around, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah When that yeah. stuff was coming you know, out, f- for me, for me, it, the rap game changed a lot, and I stopped listening to a lot of the new stuff. Is when the overuse of uh, auto tune started being used. Yeah, I just hate the sound in general. I feel like. Like everybody's everybody's giving them the opportunity, so sort of, oh, like we, we can all be rappers now, and 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 everybody's just it just all sounds too fake in general mm. to me, you know. I think Lil Wayne was the first one to bring that in. Nah, it was um, T Pain started. Yeah, T Pain around there, yeah. which was Little, probably mid. Lil Wayne was like the first rapper. Rapper. Yeah. T Pain was a singer 
turned rapper. <laughs> like his album. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Turned rapper. Then I remember when Kanye got onto it yeah, and there was that, that whole album. I'm in love. La- was, was that that I'm in love with you? Do 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 that thing. Mm. I don't know, we so it all started sort of, and now it's just everything is just ordered. And man, I just can't stand it. I just, I'll just straight away switch it off. It's fucking. <laughs> yeah, you guys shit should me. go for a cruise together. And yeah, just shit. One day. To me. <laughs> yeah, you'll have a feel that. Yeah. Most of the time, like when we we start talking music. It's, it's an it argument. It's usually just, it ends up with me just bagging the shit out of anything made past <laughs> 2013. Like, yeah. No. Yeah, it stops for me at about like 2005 onwards. Which right. is like, yeah. But you know what, man? You just hit a point, like the 2000 era. Like that was the Dre shady era. Yep. Nothing was bigger than Dre Aftermath yeah, in yeah. 2000 going forward. And then after about 2003, that's when murdering started getting big. Yep. So you had Ja Rule and all them coming from the east. And then it culminated with Ja Rule and Benzeno trying to take on... Action uh, saying that, sorry, yeah, 50 came in. Yeah. That was that was the biggest, yeah. That was the peak. Yeah. That was the peak. 50, 50 doing what he did with Shady Aftermath, that was the peak of that era, man. It doesn't get any bigger than that. Yeah, it was like the last proper commercial gangster album, I think. Anything after that became all that autotune stuff that I'm... More party oriented. Yeah, and, and party, and it's all about just bitches, bitches, money, and just the same shit on yeah. loop, you know what I mean? Production changed after that, because after that, everyone started producing that. And trap started you know, coming in a lot after that, so yeah, trap, be. yeah. Well, you had Little John and all them come out, yeah? Mm. They were just smashing it in just after Pit the Bull. 50 era. 50 era. After the 50 era, then you had Crunk, and then from Crunk, you had Trap. And yeah, then from Trap, yeah. you had... I like Trap, man. I've got out. nothing against Trap. I love the beat. Talk- yeah, all right. The Boogie production's... The, it's, the production's insane. Like, you got to give it that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just nuts. Just... It makes you fully sick, subwoofer. <laughs> it depends what you want to do. Like like we've said before, you know, if you just want to... <laughs> you know, if you don't want anything too lyrical and you want to, you don't want to think kind of yeah, stuff, that's yeah, what yeah. the ear, like, yeah. wants to listen to now. Yeah. When you think of Trap, what do you think of? Um... Seriously, like beats. If you had to think of a track that was just straight trap beat, what would you think of? Oh, that's actually a tricky question because they're, they're all like... Yeah, they're all... They're like, also similar. Yeah, um, they're similar and they're not. Like, it's weird. <laughs> man, I don't know. I've got this sick artist called uh, Grammatic. Who's Grammatic? G, Grammatic. No, and no, his no. trap beats are just, man, every beat, beat after beat. You jump on his albums, it's just Honestly, man, bangers. One of the first trap beats that I remember is T.I., and I sent you that track after you said to me, T.I. shit, because you heard his last album. It was this track. I always used to remember this as Trap, but it's not even. Yeah, I wouldn't really say that this is like Do you remember that? traditional Trap. No, I don't. It's not Trap, but it's South. It is. It's South, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The, the bass clap, bass yeah. clap, yeah. But then, like... You Tra- trap, to-, to me, almost every trap beat, you, you want a fast rapper on it. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All the trap beats, I can I can listen to them. I could just put Tech 9 Twister on it. <laughs> it's like, they're all just fast pace. Mm. Unless unless you'll have, like, rappers like, you know, New Age Rapper, they're going to slow shit down and, and mumble to it. And- That's, um... Oh, what's his name? What was that track? I still smash it at the gym, man. It's like one of my most played tracks of this year. Tech Nine's on it, Twister's on it, Ritz is on it. Um, I would have sent both of you would have. Not, uh, you might have sent it to me. It's man. not uh, West Coast Choppers. Choppers. Oh, no, 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 no. That no. Is that the one we were driving, like on, on on Dingley Bypass, and you're like, I'm listening to this. Yeah, I'm listening to it too. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. This is. I like, think I sent it to you, and you were like, and it was like, yeah, everyone on it. Crazy track. It's going back. No, uh, what's well, not going back? Ah, it's going a month or two ago. No, 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 no. That's you're thinking of Mercules. No, 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 no. You Merc- sure? Mer- yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's for uh, the guy's name was Forever MC. And it was like a compilation sort of thing. Hang on, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Forever MC. This thing. This is what I remember. Terminally Ill. Tech 9. Chino XL. Yeah. yeah. You remember this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was fucking nuts. Turn it up, man. Turn it up. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> Mm. Do you remember this? This is my gym track. Yeah, it's sick. I would have sent it to you for sure. Everyone's on this track, man. And I was looking at that list, yeah, of everyone that's on that. That track, you got, um, what's it called? Tech 9, Ritz, 
Chino XL, uh, dude from the West. Uh, what's his name? Uh, he was on the dog pound for a while. Uh, Slaughterhouse. Who's in Slaughterhouse? The group Slaughterhouse. Before they broke up, obviously. What's that other clown's name? <laughs> Slaughterhouse. He's, he's on the Slaughterhouse um, group. You had Chino XL. Take this, if you look up Forever, um, Forever MC, Terminally Ill, you'll find it there. Oh, it was obviously Joe Biden, Joel Ortiz. Nah, not Biden. King Crooked. That's Chino. Uh, that's Crooked. Crooked Eye. Yeah, yeah, that's who it is. King Crooked. And obviously Royce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's who it is. King Crooked. He's consistently in that list of like top MCs coming out of the West Coast. Mm. When I started doing that list of who are my favorite, like I, I literally wrote down top rappers. Yeah. Yep. And straight away I just wrote Eminem, Biggie, Park, and then I just right. Yeah. Then yeah, I yeah. looked at it. I'm like, well, who do you add? You know what I mean? Yeah. So then I, I left it. I said, nah, yeah. I'll come back to it because I can't be fucked. It's too much. Have you, um, you got 10 there. Have you like numbered them as well? Nah, I could, you can't, there's no way you can yeah. do that. You I, can't I've do that. I've done it, but I, I, I was chopping it around like so many times. And I'm like, you can't do this. Before, before we, we started discussing doing this, I actually, maybe a couple of months ago, I actually Googled like top 50 rappers. Yeah, but it's so subjective. And it's, and got, it's like, it is, a lot of it is, is just like, this and is a lot of stuff crap. I read and I'm like, I personally don't know. Like there's yeah. a, l- a hell of a lot of dudes who will put Jay-Z at number one. Yeah. And to me, like I just, I never related to him. He's not even on my list. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He's not on my name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So I, just, I don't know. Yeah, if I've tried. I've tried to like go back and okay, listen to his prime stuff. I guess you could call it. It's just I just I don't know. The, the I only don't see the, the hype, only like, track by him where everybody can rock to is you know is is the Lincoln Park one where yeah. I got ninety nine problems but a bitch at one. I don't even I, hit me. I wouldn't even. <laughs> Actually, you know like, what? It's iconic. Like he's got he, he's you know he's got some good stuff. No, yeah, there's, look, no, there's no doubt in that. But, but, uh, but there, he's got a lot of stuff, and there's just a, a handful there that I could... Re- <laughs> That's Same with Kanye, to be honest. Yeah. You know, A lot of fans out there for Kanye. He's obviously got a Kanye massive shit. following. His first couple albums, though, you, you got to admit, are pretty good with the college dropout one yeah, and the... Late, um, regist- uh, late registration. Not that one. College dropout, late my, registration. My beautiful, dark... Twisted Fantasy oh, or whatever they are. You, you, know, you know he's released good. an album like a month ago, something yeah. very recent. It's like a gospel album, a gospel I think. Album, yeah, Because yeah. he's yeah. doing his Jesus shit now. Now he's going yeah, to churches. Yeah. He's and, going to the mega churches, and, and Snoop did this as well, yeah. and I can't listen to that as well. To I me, think, it's a bit too holy. <laughs> I think, like, <laughs> I this, sort of, <laughs> this sort of will tie in maybe to our list and maybe a reason why some people have made the list and some haven't is, like, I get turned off by artists that have too much content as well like release a lot of shit because then you're sort of sorting through that shit to find uh, releasing an album and having two good tracks. Dude, that, and for me, yeah, for me personally, um, I feel like tech nine's a little like that for me because he's got like fucking how many albums yeah, got, and I like him like, and he's, 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 he's a gun, but like him, Jay Z has got a lot. Um, even Puck's got a lot. Yeah. But like he was smashing you, it. Remember but something Tupac died at like 25, right? Yeah. In that time, in that time, and he was in jail for like, you know, six months or whatever it was, right? In that time that he was alive, he released that much shit. He, f- he acted in like half a dozen movies. Yeah, there's no doubt you know that I mean? he was He had a production it. company going. I, I used this argument. I was on Insta having an out with someone. Yeah, someone was talking about best fucking artist or whatever. And I said, you know what? Okay, the one thing you have to respect Park for is the fact that he got to 25 and his body of work... It got, I mean, he'd done it at that high, it was a high standard, right? But there was two things that were wrong with it. One, and he says it himself in, inter- in interviews, yeah, he's in the recording process and he's not taking time with beats to craft art. He was just trying to get his message out. Mm. So that's why you could remix all his tracks because he's got almost the exact same flow, yeah. same tempo over new yeah. everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's like that for sure. Yeah, if you go back like, to the all His eyes, flow's identical yeah, in, in, every, really in everything. There's you no... easily switch his verses up from tracks and put multiple verses on the same track. And it will sound like it's the same song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of remix albums yep. out there that yeah, have done just that. Yeah, like, just like you take, you take uh, when Eminem started getting his name out and put in uh, production and when he made uh, the Tupac yeah. album. Every, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's the thing you can't knock about him, whether or not he's your top or whatever... I get what you're saying with the content, but you got to remember he did that before he was 25, and then a lot of it was nearly half of his discography was produced after he died. Mm, the only yeah. album he completed was the seven day um, the seven day theory, which is brilliant. Yeah, seven day theories. 
Seven Day Theory actually has one of my favourite intros to a track of all time. The intro, my my second reply, the first track, Bomb First. Do you remember it? Dude, I'll find it. Um, what would your, like, if you had to talk about intros to an album, what would your favourite one be? Like, what do you reckon hits hard? Right now, the first thing that came into my head is Westside Connections. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 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 And the first lines, mm-hmm. the world is mine, <laughs> get back. That's just to me, it's just like, yeah, man. bam, that's it, Dude, ba- bow down. I had that on my list. Bow down, had, for sure. I had that on my list with the whole intro with the um, voiceover about like a news report, there's a threat in the world today. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 100%, man. Um, yeah, this is, uh, that was on my list, and this is on, um, this would be, one of the first, man, easily, without a Did doubt. Did you ever listen much to Westside Connection? A little bit, yeah. See, that yeah. again, I was 10 years old when Westside Connection yeah. came out. 11, sorry. That was one of my first memories of listening to hip-hop back at my house uh, at the park with, like, one of these uh, Kiwi dudes I used to go to school with. I'm serious. He used to steal, <laughs> he used to steal his, his brother's um, boombox. Yeah. Controversial Tupac Shakur had just released another album under the alias Machiavelli. Music insiders are running wild trying to rearrange other artists' street dates and fear of so a wipeout good. and retail inner chart moves. Although no one knows the exact cause of the new album, resources tell me a number of less fortunate rappers have joined together in conspiracy to assassinate the character <laughs> of not only Mr. Shakur, but of Death Row Records as well. Nas, the alleged ringleader of the furious and Tupac, excuse me, Machiavelli's verbal assault on Mob Sleep, Notorious P.I.G., and several other New York rappers. Jay Z from Hawaiian Soapy fame, Big Little Whatever, and several other corny sounding motherfuckers okay. are understandably shaken up by this. Rumor. Remember, the question I, everybody wants to know. I'll get into it in a why second. Why they get this nigga started? Tupac, rather Machiavelli, was not available for comment, but released this statement. It's not about east or west. It's about niggas and bitches, power and money, riders and punks. Which side are you on? It's one of his hardest verses of all time. track you got to remember this was him coming out after like the all eyes on me thing like that all that thing and he's done his it's when he this album was released under the name machiavelli mm. so his rebirth you know what i mean he's faking his death and coming back that was his alias yeah this was him setting the bar like this is the death row thing cutting off dre cutting off like the east coast it's like mar- it, it marked his independence almost yeah. kind of thing. And then yeah. he died. <laughs> and then, yeah. He died before he got released. He became released. Ultimate, ultimately independent <laughs> from life. <laughs> Dude, did, he- did, you, did you guys ever look up and see the little video when he was um, when he did his first first public verse, uh, so called, in, in digi- with Digital Underground? Nah, which one? The, 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 whatever, I can't remember the on, track, um, man. He but on, he had just one, one small verse there, and there was a video clip where it was like a Egyptian Cleopatra kind of theme, nah. and he drops his verse there. Yeah, check it out one time. But it's just like, that's like one of the first things that he did that the public ever heard from him. He popped up in a track with Digital Underground. He was in this really shit movie. I can't remember what it was called. It was it was because that's who he rocked with. That's that was the, that was his crew. his crew originally yeah. before the outlaws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they never put him on the mic much. He was just like a backup boy almost, mm. where he was running around with him doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, like a hype man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a video vixen. Tupac was a video vixen. There was a movie <laughs> called Nothing But Trouble. It was in 1991. Um, really bad movie, man. John Candy, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase. Like you'd think it's going to be sick. But it was just terrible, like just terrible. I and mean, the reason it got made is because everyone loved Dan Aykroyd, everyone hated Chevy Chase. Dan Aykroyd funded the whole thing, right? But I was sick on my couch and I was watching it for the first time like five years ago. And then halfway through the thing, there's like a judge scene, yeah? Like there's this judge in the movie, like it's a comedy, right? Like a screwball comedy. And this judge is like going off and all these people are in the crowd. All of a sudden, Digital Underground are there and they perform a song and Tupac's in the background, man. And, yeah. and it just does like part of the chorus and stuff. He was young, Crazy. baby-faced as fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We've never thought that was, like, Tupac Shakur, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was yeah. fucked. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, that's that's before he was all about, you know, passing passing across the thug life message of the Black Panthers and everything. But he wasn't born... He was... <sighs> His legacy is completely different, man. Anyway, let's get away from Tupac a little bit. This, <laughs> yeah. is, becoming, this is becoming like a one-man show. Tupac's getting Tupac all the credit. Podcast. There's a lot of rappers <laughs> out there. So anyway, best rappers. <laughs> best rappers. We've got our list. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are we starting, thing, are we what starting do you want to start with, with best rappers? No, actually, actually, I'll tell you what I've got. I'll rappers. tell you what I put together. It was, right. It's a bit of a fucking mess, but it's, right. it, it'll do. Top 10 artists I've got. Okay. I've got top five groups. Okay. I've got top 10 albums. To make a group, what is it qualified? Two or more? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, two or more. Because then... What do you mean? What is it qualified? Well, they, 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 they established yeah, themselves oh, as a group. A group is uh, three. Some maybe. people actually exclude two. Yeah, maybe a group is three. You know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, Mob Deep is a group with only two people. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, gone yeah. two plus. Well, if they're if they, if they uh, two or more people that go by one name, that's a group. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's by definition, yeah. yeah. It's a group. Yeah, uh, yeah I've got... I've got, I've got I've, <laughs> Uh, top ten albums, top ten tracks, and I've got I've got five diss tracks here. Let, um, let's hit it off with top to. ten groups because you've got five I've got and five. I've got ten, so we could sort of maybe I could like fill it in. I after couldn't you. even name ten groups, man. Man, I couldn't. I, I, I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like the groups that I've put in there, there are so many more that should be in that top ten. I but already there's know. Only top I already 10. know who your top group is. I don't have number one. All right, Nate, you no, go. No, I, you go. I, no, I'm just, I know right now who you want to put as number one. Easy. There's no, hands down, there's no way, no way known you. I, I, I've, I, got I, I've got five. I've got five, and I've actually, right, I've actually, um, numbered them from five to one. So Ooh. I guess we'll start. Oh, all right. Oh. Start at five. Start Amigos, at five. Amigos, number five. <laughs> Look at this. They're, they're number one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what's, what's, uh, who, who was the group that sent Macarena? <laughs> the, two, the two old dudes. Are they classified as a group? Yeah, because two. Uh, what, was it, what were they called? What was I can't remember, called? man. They just Macarena. Lost something, something. It was something fucked up. The Macarena pensioners. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. All right. So, again, these lists are based on my opinion. <laughs> not, not, not necessarily the, you know, no one's gonna the most talented this, or anything like that. <laughs> just a little disclaimer in there. All right. Number five, I've got Bone Thugs and Harmony. Uh, I've got that shit down for sure. Yeah, for um, sure. Bone Thugs. Look, yeah, yeah. look, Bone Thugs suffer from the same thing you were talking about before, too much content. Yeah. Because that's they- why, that's why. So they've got the Creeping on a Come Up album. They got the E1999. Yeah. That's their, I guess, their, like, pinnacle. That's got one of, uh, I, I don't think it was on that album, I think it was on one of the collection albums or something, but it's a Bone Thugs track that has one of the hardest intros of all time. But anyway, continue. I'm going to find um, it. I still think there's a few fillers in there. In the album? In, in that album. Okay. Um, there's a few, like, skippable tracks. Um, that's the they thing. have worked yeah. with, they're the only group that have worked with, Easy done e. tracks, Easy e Park, Park, Biggie. And Biggie um, actually worked on tracks. Like few others and yeah, I've said that forever. Man. And um, and I mean, not that I've done anything big in regards to movies, but they have done yeah. some movies and they've got some sort of parts that they did here and there. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> D- I think Dizzy was involved in a few small gangster mm. flicks. Was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I they, as a group, I think yeah, they're definitely top five. Um, them individually, their content kind of again, they have a little bit. Too much, each yeah, but kind of thing, many, and, and spin off spin off groups there are like yeah. Bone Thugs and yeah, like this. Like, it's, it's a mess. Like the Bone Thugs you know. family is like massive. It's like the Juggalos. Mm. You know? <laughs> mm. Are you going to pull up that track, or do you want me to go to number four? Oh, it's which track a, are you talking about? Oh, you're going to pull up a oh, track from. I was going to find this. This is still. I'm thinking it's probably what I'm. No, no, no. This is this is probably not what you're thinking of. This is probably completely random. This isn't even about Bone Thugs, man. Oh, okay, this is. But this is on a Bone Thugs album. This used to be one of my ringtones to wake up, man. It's one of the hardest verses ever dropped by a dead man. I've never heard this track. Wait for it. It's someone that... Just watch. Well, it sounds very um, similar to the name of it, Bone Thugs and Easy E track. Um, well, that is that is no, no, sur- uh, no, no surrender. No surrender. Yeah, the beat's pretty similar. Yeah, very similar. Well, this is on the Bone Thugs album, but but I'm pretty sure this verse was put in posthumously. Yeah. Like, it's the best, man. Mm. <laughs> anyway, number four. Number four. Yeah. Tribe Called Quest. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I expect you to pull it in there. I they deserve them. it. I referenced them last week yeah. um, in last week's podcast. 
Hit me up with some of their best tracks, like because I've boys. never, yeah, I've never. Obviously, I've not. I, I know them as as a group, but I've never yeah. never really listened to them that much. Can you play some? Yeah, we'll yeah. If here. you if you put something up, I just if you type in and you'll see whatever's the most watched will pop Give me up. A track, yeah. Um, Tribe Called Quest, man, they're in that era of like the le- early nineties to mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're, well, there know, was a lot of. Um, what do you want to hear, man? Competition. Um, At that time, pick a track, any track. Can I kick it? Everyone obviously knows that. Uh, that's, that's pretty... Oh, fuck it. Just play that. <laughs> the best works. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. See, like, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put their name to this track because I just don't know that much of them. Yeah. I know this, obviously, as being a really good song. Yeah. But I never actually like, oh, yeah, this is a trap. Yep. Cool. All right. Yep. I believe you got a number three. Yep. Mob Deep. Yeah, see, I would put Mob Deep in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly, I don't have Mob Deep in these. Mob Deep. Here. I don't have. I don't have. Well, as and I felt like I was doing a bad thing by not putting them in here because <laughs> they've got I so left, much. Fucking... I left my lists at home, but off the top of my head, Mob Deep would have been in the group thing. But I have their track, um, Shook One's Part Two, yeah, as it's one of the couple, greatest hip hop tracks of all time. Yeah. The like, infamous album is is very solid. Um, what else I got? Hell on Earth. Both Hell on Earth, good. front front line, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah. That's a standard gym track, man. Yeah. I was last week on, on last week's podcast, man, which hasn't even been like I don't think the part of the episode has been released. Um I actually played Mob Deep Shook Ones again. I've referenced that track maybe three times in the last like two yeah. years, man. So instead of that, we'll hit this up. This is another standard gym track. Yeah. Standard oh, this is, gym track. This is just like I wouldn't I this is not a gym track for me. Like I would not, I can't see myself going, but I could just. It's more late in. night, late I, night cruise. Your just, windows yeah, down, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. I used to do that a lot, that's man. In my car as well, like just. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Classic hip hop. Hey, question. This, who um, did someone like remix this beat and it became pretty popular? A track? I don't know. Not that I know of. No? I can't think of anything. Because it, it, it always kind of reminds me of something else. What do you mean? Like you feel like you've heard it somewhere yeah. before? Yeah. yeah. Like obviously I knew it as this, but then I'm like, wait, I think like I've heard... I think about The Firm. You think about Dr. Dre and The Firm. Um, their main track. What was their main track called? It had a pretty similar, pretty similar beat. It was like a... Ah, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still my head in. It's a good track, but do you ever it, listen to the Firm album? Nah. The neither, Firm should have been I. bigger, man. Nah, it's produced by Dre, Nas, you know, AZ, Foxy Brown. Like, you'd think the Firm was going to go bigger than it did, man. Firm, yeah. I haven't even heard of them, to be honest. Are you for real? Yeah. It's gone back, man. Like, gone back heaps. A long time. All right. Anyway. All right. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> outcast I got outcast yeah I, I tell you I tell you what the last the last 10th 10th n- group I was putting on here 10th group 10th mm-hmm. like well you know I got the first nine down right. and that was like okay I've got one more space you know, it's like <laughs> got one more space which like a motherfucker group is gonna make yeah, this thing yeah. Yeah. and this is what it was D12 went down Okay. Right, mm. and then I, was surprised, I, crossed, yeah. I crossed it out, and I put Outcast, and I told you the only reason that I did that. I started looking at it from the respect that I'm thinking D12 was only really made by one person, yep. by Eminem. The influence, like as a solo artist, we all know that they they don't really have they haven't done shit, and the influence that they've really sort of had as a group on rap world is quite insignificant, as opposed to Outcast that really brought in. The sound of the South as a group, they were like the first South group, really. They yeah, were, but you no, just you had got UGK that crank as on. Well, man. Get over yeah, UGK. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the, you did, you did, you did. But, you know, I'm, to me, obviously, 90s is like the pinnacle yeah. of rap. So, once again, knowing something that I can relate to, Outcast is probably. And I honestly, I didn't even listen to Outcast that much until my, my later years, until, you know. Yeah, yeah. Caroline. <laughs> and, all, and all that Caroline. sort of stuff. Yeah. See, yeah. That's, uh, that's another thing, like I'm saying, like, that was like early two thousands when they when the, when all that sort of I mean the album 
I was speaker look, box one. Speaker love, box, like, love below. So that's what I saw coming out. That's that what I used out. to watch on Dude, video hits. That came out. But like I was going to TAFE video in hits. That's video old school, hits, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, was on t- I was on the bus in 2003 going to TAFE and Box Hill, man, and I yeah. had a uh, on repeat. Yeah, so that's how I. Rage. That's how I thought. Well, that's what I thought. Like Outcast only was, and I had to go back and then obviously look at the ATL. You know what? Aliens, when it came know? to the the question of like who's the best rappers like ever, or whatever, do you know whose list I went by? Eminem's list. Do you remember the one that he said on uh, "Till I Collapse"? Do you remember the you remember the track "Till I Collapse"? Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, I collapse. Who is spilling these raps? Long I'm as you fill them, I'm gonna give you the order of my list and it's in. It goes Reggie, Jay Z, yeah. Tupac, and Biggie, Andre from Outkast, Jada, Corrupt, Nas, and then me. I didn't, yeah. I didn't break that up to 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 actually listen to that word by word in the, in that part there. That's so now saying, that yeah, yeah, yeah so got gotcha. Reggie, um, as in being Red Man, uh, Reggie, Jay Z. Nah, uh, Tupac, Tupac, and yeah, Tupac and Biggie, Andre from Out- from Outcast, uh, Jada Kiss. Yep. Uh, hang on, it goes Reggie, Jay Z, Tupac and Biggie, Andre from Outcast, Jada Cor- Corrupt, N- uh, Nas, and then me. And who? And then he, then me. Oh, and so then he, me. He puts yeah, himself yeah. at the end. Can we can we um, uh, t- put a Players Bowl by Outcast? Oh, that, players that, Bowl. Man, to me that's like, woo! I just love the flow in there. That's just like you know you could be sitting there, but then that's how it goes out. <laughs> and you just like you just get I'm up gonna, and you bones, a, your bones, your skeletal system and everything ass, just it's a long track. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Nah, just just frack. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and my fucking G. <laughs> Just the good, the good vibe that I get listening to this track is just, yeah, it's cool. And yeah, the, I think this chorus the, the, the deserves the spot as well, actually. Oh yeah, the best choruses. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. All right, cool. <laughs> what, what do we got? So, hold on. That was number two or three? That was two. Uh, two. Now, ooh, number one. All right, all right, all right. Migos. Number one. Let's, go, let's Migos. go. I know it's like Migos. I don't even know who that fucking is. <laughs> Migos. So what, is, what, is, what is that? It sounds like a, like a GYG, like a tacos drive through What is it? I think, I think Migos is like... Actually, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. They, they actually deserve a special mention just because they're, Shout prob- out, Migos. they're probably the ones that started this whole uh, mumble rap. But see, I'll give over them the, that. Over the so, last so that's a new group. Like, yeah, yeah five, okay. they, they've been around for probably about five years. Um, you, you probably I know their individual names: Quavo, Takeoff, Offset. Offset. You would have heard of Offset. So these nah, are man. all the guys that. See, so this is what bothers me about Migos. Other than the fact that I don't like mumble rap, that's not my number one, by the way. But should we is should it? we play a Migos? And, uh, and which num- track? Um, yeah, do that. Type and in Migos. I've got Migos. Which track? Pick a track. Any track. M I G O Z S. No, what is it? M I G O S. Yeah, pick a track, man. Um, Bougie. Nah, nah, nah. I'll show you. I'll show you what <laughs> pops up on Apple Music in their, in their top the, songs. In their top songs. I want to pick the most songs. garbage one just to piss him off. Comes up. up Slide featuring Frank Ocean, no, 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 Bad no. and Bougie, nah. Motorsport. Nah. I'll tell stir, you what I'm trying stir to stir fry. I love the track Walker Talker with Drake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this latest <laughs> album in 2018. Versace. Culture Two. Play Versace. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're gonna hate this. You're going to hate it. You're going to absolutely hate it. It's going to be hilarious. This is what makes me laugh. This was actually one of their first sort of this is breakout tracks. 2013. Yeah, yeah. This is why it's going to make me laugh, right? Because 2013, all right. I, so don't, like, not- I don't like it, but I'm more open-minded. He's going to hate <laughs> yeah. it. Right. That's what I love about right, it. Let's, let's, let's check it out. I love listening to new shit, man. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I wish you had these reaction yeah, I videos this. going. I heard this before, yeah. <laughs> well, this is fucking Drake, obviously. Yeah, so. it's, it's Drake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to I write it out. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't stand Drake, dude. Drake's terrible. Mm. He tries to. Did you hear? Did you hear recently that he's been booed off the fucking stage? Yeah. Mm. Tyler the Creator had a thing going on, and he yeah, put was, Drake. Was some sort of music festival that Tyler yeah, the Creator runs. Yeah, 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 yeah. He brought Drake out, and people started booing him. Amigos. Yeah, see, this is I can't I can't relate to this kind of stuff. This is just not mine. 
shit. Look, the production wise behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, production's sick. sick. You can hear. L- listen, everything these days, the quality is, is high yeah. as fuck. Anything when it comes to production, to the way they, they mix the acapellas and you everything know, like that. You know who would sound good on this beat? Tech Nine. Yeah. <laughs> that would sound good on any fucking beat. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. you got the little Mego ad libs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Who's number one? <laughs> <laughs> Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. I knew it. Easily, by far, yeah. for me personally. Um, you know, nine and members. Uh, you put you put Wu Tang yeah. number one. That's surprising. Then that means Cypress Hill's number two. Not even. He's got his clear number okay. one, but I, his others are I sort of... Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no, I didn't actually... The, the Wu-Tang is the first thing that popped into my head. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't actually number these officially. It's the first thing that popped into my head. And the history behind that is... Actually, you take that. You tell me why you put that number why? one in there. Yeah. Um, well, Wu-Tang, firstly, nine, ten members, I guess, if you want to count, you know, Cap- Capadonna, that was like sort of... Yeah, Capadonna was in it. Yeah, say ten members. He's a member. Ten members. Capadonna. Firstly, to have ten members in a group and they all sort of deliver their own little style, I guess. You know, all, all obviously... All um, sounded different. All, all, all had their own little thing. Um, you could easily confuse half the people in D12. Yeah. Can I anyway. Can I have a, um, and they know it. They even <laughs> say it in my band. No, yeah. it, it, was, it was more so like, <laughs> especially at the time that they came out, uh, Enter the 36 Chambers, which was 94... Ish, I want to say. There. Yeah, 94, 95? At that um, time, like, West Coast stuff was, like, really... Um, 36 chambers. Can I tell you the, the history, what I, what, I, what I found out recently? Um, I think it was w- watching one of the documentaries, um, once again, on Netflix. I think that it was Hip Hop Evolution, possibly, yeah, yeah. On, on that one, which is which is really awesome. Um, anyway, this is the thing with them. When they... When they got together, they were like the first group that had that many people, right? Yeah. yeah. So when they came and approached a, a, a label, a guy listened to their stuff. He heard all their fucking samurai swords and yeah. all that kind of shit. Yeah. He said, guys, you must be smoking too much weed because there's nobody in hell that's going <laughs> to listen to this samurai shit. Yeah. And there's nine of you. What the fuck is going on? Get the fuck out of here. This is not going to work. Yeah. So what these guys do, obviously, they don't take no for an answer. They don't shoot them. Mm. But what they do <laughs> is they go back and they take their demo and they find a radio station which was whatever the top radio station that played rap yeah. at that time was. And they bust in there almost at gunpoint and they say to this guy, you put this fucking demo <laughs> on. And that's what made him. That's yeah. what absolutely. So from then on, what happened is they, they were the first group that not only did they have a record deal as a late, as a group. Yep. Each one of them yeah. had individual yeah. record deals as individual artists, mm-hmm. which was crazy. Yeah, we had it was OJP, insane. You had Red, you had Meth. Yeah, you, and guys, you listen to them, they're just like, oh, like you, Method Man's obviously like one of the favorites. You got Red Man in there. It's like you know, they're they're probably my top two favorites out of, out of them. Yeah. and it just the the flow and everything and the the the, the pattern is just it's just so unique. It's crazy. Yeah. It's it's more so that individually they have awesome projects as well. And uh, you know, a couple of those feature in my top ten artists as individuals, and as also in the, the albums. albums. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Obviously, like th- there is a lot of content as well. I guess um, there's a lot. You know, I mean, if you find all the individual yeah, stuff like with the group decades, stuff, man. yeah, you've pr- you're, you're probably at a, you're probably at about fifty albums. I want to say easily. Yeah. Easy. Which makes sense, yeah, because once again, Average, there's a lot probably of guys got about there. three to five each. Well, I was going to say, that's one nine, album from each each dude. That's, you're years. already fucking That's out, nine yeah. times more ideas than, than yeah. your regular yeah. <laughs> single, yeah. I want to say, as far as groups go, you guys are pretty much on the money, yep. like of where I would say would be up there, yeah. I think an honorable mention would have to go to the, the Dog Pound, yep. and that would be the extended I got the, I got the Dog Pound so in here. Daz and Corrupt, and by extension, Superfly, Nate Dog, Snoop. Uh, Warren G, yep. you know, all those dudes, yeah? Because those albums in the late 90s, early 2000s, like you pick up Warren G, Return of the Regulator, or Corrupt, Streets as a Mother, dude, some of those tracks are just like ridiculous, man. Mm. And they're just constant. Mm. They they sort of released a lot of crap, and then Daz, as an independent artist, just releases albums every yeah. eight months. You know what I mean? I, I've got Daz tattooed on my arm, but even I don't <laughs> like all this shit. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. But as a group... When they actually pull together. Remember that I Love Cali album? DPG, I Love Cali? Dude, when that track, that is one of the biggest, baddest, like, returns to, um, 
it was Callie's active, not I Love Callie. That single, when it dropped, was the unification of the West. So basically, everything just went away, like all the negativity. The, or the, the, at that time, Daz and Corrupt were beefing, so they squashed that. The, the film clip has got like Crips and Bloods all together, like either Crip walking or. or and that was a big dance. thing back in those days, yeah. yeah. Mm. West, West, y'all. Bang. Dude, this album dropped, mm. and when it came out, people lost their fucking minds because this was a return. Unfortunately, the album itself falls away sort of halfway through. It sounds really dated, like they're still rapping like it was 2000, yeah. 95, 2000 when it came out. But as a group... But then people that had nostalgia for that kind of stuff, yeah. which which is people like me, you know, I would yeah. definitely listen to that. Dude, and go, yeah, this is the shit. Alarm, man. Like, trust me, I get it. Yeah. And especially me, like I love this sort of shit, yeah? But that's just me. I think an honourable mention would have to go to... This is what pisses me off. You ever heard of the Horsemen? There's a group called the Horsemen. Man, you've got this is what you got in it, man. You got um, cannabis, killer priest, corrupt, and Razkaz from the West, man. The, the, right, that's right. Dude, Actually, Serge, oh, Serge told me about of these guys. Yeah, you know, of course, man. Yeah. He's a smart man. Serge. That's right. That's uh, <laughs> dude, Serge man, is that's the a guy. strong. That's a strong group. Dude, Actually, Serge is the dude when you go to a party. Killer priest. That's everyone's right. fucked. Everyone's wasted. And he might he might be drinking all night, but then he drops some knowledge and just silences everyone. Yeah, he'll go philosophical, he'll man. Just, he'll, he'll put a monologue out for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Serge knows. Yeah. But yeah, man, a group with Cannabis, Killer Priest, Corrupt, and Raz, who essentially have been in all the groups we've just talked about, for them not to have busted bigger, they've been around for since 96. You know what I mean? And they cover East Coast and West Coast. And they, they haven't been as big as Horsemen. I'm adding this to my to my playlist. Well, he's got a couple left. I've got. Let me add, let me go add through to your top ten. All right, all right. I'll tell you what hey, I've got in here. Give, give, yeah, give me the rest. In no in no precise. I'm actually I'm going to repeat some of the ones that you said. Yeah. So you got Wu Tang. Yep. Yeah. Bone Thugs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I said Outcast Dash D12. That was kind of thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Look, this is what I got right. Dog Pound. Okay. Okay. Run DMC. Fuck! I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah uh-huh. right. Because because that was that was big, you know, when they came out yeah. and they started. Let's not let's not forget they actually started working with other genres. Yeah. yeah. Right. Rock. Yeah. So Seriously. that was yeah, yeah right, and that's actually I'll have that as as one of the most memorable. Did um, you put Beastie Boys in there? I, 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 I never. In, in I never. Terms I never of, in terms of influence and I movement said, and stuff. Tricky is one of the most yeah. memorable choruses. Yeah. Okay. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> anyway, uh, West Side Connections, man. Yeah, we got to sure. give it up they're to good old Ice Cube. They've only got two albums, Dope C, man. Yeah. That man, and they're legendary albums, man. <laughs> they are legendary. Dude, the first album, Bow Down, is easily one of the best albums. Now, if it's Cypress Hill album. is not on this list... Who? Cypress Hill. It has Hell. to be on this list. It has to be on this How list. How is it not? I'm saying it is. Okay. So that's why it's I in there. I thought they'd be your number one. Dude, they are... Probably in their like top spot, like but, going to the top. That's just they're I'm insane. Surprised they weren't your first pick. <laughs> they're oh, insane. I, I gotta say NWA for sure. Okay, why is he shaking his head? Because no, because I thought like they would probably in that sort of five to ten range for me. I guess if I extended it to ten, um, I gotta be just honest hard with to, you. Hard to shuffle them into that top five that I, you know, just yeah. a little bit out of that. But in terms of like. Um, I look at the same thing. Influence, movement, this and that. Exactly. Yeah, just just for that it. reason, I, to be honest, I don't know most of their tracks. Mm. Yeah, it's no. just the absolute influence that they had at, at that time. You Respectable. Know? Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. and then the other two that I've got in here is Onyx. Yeah. I was, and, that and, and MOP. Yeah. I was going to say They're Onyx. Just Onyx. Hard underground. My guess is for you, ruthless. man. My guess is for you are Onyx and and Cypress Hill. I knew that straight away. And bow down bikes. Uh, West Side Connection bikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, but we're forgetting about the Ghetto Boys. You know, from the south, they're fucking. They're forgetting about a lot of them. Ghetto Boys, like I said, UGK. You know, all those heads like came mm. out of the south. You know, anything Scarface was affiliated with. Um, so, uh, then you had uh, Jurassic Five. Yeah, they were Jurassic fun, Five. They, they, they were unreal. Guru Gangster. Above the Law. Do you remember Above the, Above the Law? Above the Law is one of the baddest tracks of all time. Eh? Sick hunts. Easy E was like, producing this shit before, before he died. Hang on. Above the Law, dude. You'd remember this track for sure. Like, there's no way known. Um, hang on. 
No, go, sorry, man. Let's go. Let's go um, hang on. Oh, where else did you have? Hang on. I'll find it here. I mentioned him naughty by nature. Damn. What uh, about public enemy? Yeah. See, there's... You can't... Yeah, like, that's a, you, you can't, can't list this it. shit, man. It's... it's Taylor Soul. Yeah. Do you remember this? The list goes on. Fuji's. Yeah. Fuck Fuji's, man. Fuck Fuji's. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> bitch. Fuji's is trying to do me. Look, bitch, I cut your face. It's ain't no motherfucking movie. Then I watch the other two die slow. Castrated, entertaining, not my motherfucking sideshow. Bam! Dude. Yeah. What about Gangstar? That's what I say. Yeah, yeah. Gangstar, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is above the law. Let me drop some dope lyrics, make it high. Dude. <laughs> it's time to chill. So take this drink, dude. If your cups are empty, go get a refill or whatever. Cause ain't nothing changed but the weather. KMG 187, yeah, we got it together. Dude, this is the best track. You know, you know what what was a big group that had a big influence uh, in probably around the time when we were born, man. This was like mid eighties. Is Native Tongues? Oh, Native Tongues. Native Tongues. They had this is also a name I haven't heard uh, before until I watched the Hip Hop Evolution documentary. Uh, but they had very, I think, very deep philosophical kind of rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you put something on by them? Who? Just so we can get an idea. Just put native in tongue. na- Native Tongues. How are they, man? I've, I've honestly never heard of them. Native Big, tongues. big influence. Actually, there's a, tri- a tribe called Quest plus Della Soul, Native Tongues versus Soul Chief. Dude, who the hell? Native Tongues, 1987. Doing they yeah, they 1989. got together. Dude, what the fuck? I've never heard of these guys. Seriously? How could I have never heard of this shit? This cheesy shit. Dude, in this music video, you got... Dude, you got Jungle Brothers, A Tribe Called Quest, Della Soul, and Money Love. <laughs> this is shit, man. To be before my time. Yeah, bad. Dude, it's 89. I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is when it was all party rap, you know. Yeah. That's party this, rap. This is before, like, don't forget, this is before they 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 started talking about gangster stuff on mm. records. That's what it was. NWA were the first to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were the first man. Fuck NWA, the police. Fuck the police. You got to mm. remember, NWA became as big as they did with no major uh, publication, no marketing. They were selling their tapes out of trunks. And, and their boots, yeah. you know? And that's legit. They had no... Pop- Dude, they couldn't get on the radio, man. And they went number one in the country, and they couldn't get on the radio. <laughs> How does someone do that? Now, you just become a viral hit on the, on YouTube, and that's the end of it. Like, do you know what I mean? You become like... When someone like Little Yachty can become a viral... Like, dude, Little Yachty, man, come on. Please don't tell me you rate him, man. Nah, I don't. I don't. It's, it's crap. Like, they, look... There's stuff like mumble rap, which is debatable, but then you got Little Yachty, and it's just like, nah, man. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of piss take artists. Guys, piss. you want to do most memorable choruses? I, I don't know feel about going to that. I didn't even do that. You, you want me to drop some stuff on you? <laughs> see see <laughs> how you feel about that? Um, one of the one of the one of the top ones. See if I can, let's let's have some fun with this. See if I can say say the name of the song. Okay. And uh, if no, you no, remember say, it, no, you, start, say the you start dropping. Yeah, and, no, you start and you start dropping, and I'll try and name the track, and we'll try and name the track, or even the artist. I don't if I can, we'll no, 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 just say the chorus. Oh, this, this is too easy. Insane in the membrane. Oh, sorry, I'm sure. insane in the yeah. brain. That's standard. Every party track back in 1995. Every party track, right? Next one. Next one. Next one. It actually goes down for top choruses, but also most memorable verses. Gangsters paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was just that was. As a walk through the shadow of the... But what did Coolio do on his own right after that? Nothing. Nothing. Honestly, I feel like Coolio just had his 15 minutes of fame. Um, He was always, like, very sort of respectable. If you want to talk about One Hit Wonder, that almost... This track almost made my top 10. Who? If you think of it. One track, really good. Did nothing after that. I don't know. 
I go out with wow, Yippee Yo, Yippee Yay. Oh, Lunas. Yeah. I got that. That was a gun track. Man. Yeah, but then what else has he got? Is that? It, Lunas. Lunas. He's got. They had to be not about. It's a sick song. Yeah. Man. I got five of them. Yeah, that's sick, man. What happened to him? Lunas. Uh, <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> Type uh, Wiki- let's see what Wikipedia Dude, says. You, you yeah? should, usually, you should type in like Lunas what happened to the famous. Oh, we should have done it. Yeah, heroin, yeah. man. Lunas, Lunas <laughs> is a duo formed by y- uh, Yuckmouth and Numskull. Yuckmouth had a few good tracks on his own, but as a group, they made an album last year. Did absolutely nothing. There's two tracks that are like very um, highly regarded by who? Lunas. Uh, that's one. I'm oh. just saying. Like I got five on it. Um, Did you guys ever listen to? Uh, was, and hang on, I'm gonna Craig Mac flavor in your ear. Oh, Craig Mac, yeah, standard. Everyone what happened to Craig. him? <laughs> Actually, Craig Mac, I don't know. Craig Mac, yeah, the track, yeah, Fl- nah. play the track. <laughs> DJ, spin that. Craig shit. Mac died last year. Oh, <laughs> heroin, <laughs> dude. That, that's what happened to him. He had heart He's, failure. Oh, it was heroin. For some time before his passing, was prepared for groom outcome. Got to play the track now. Yeah, yeah. He had heart failure, man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the remix, the remix version is awesome. Hang on, Flavor in Your Ear. That's, um, fuck, how long does that go, man? Uh, you know, Craig Mack. Art failure, man. Yeah, bad. Yep, there you Wait, go. Uh, die. Uh, yeah. Oh, that one. Big one. I just go the original, man, just for the sake of. Ah, uh, fuck it. Yo, Mac, I don't even understand how they didn't understand you and that Mary Joy. Yeah, I Kick know. Kick that man. old robotic, futuristic George <laughs> Jetson. Yeah, yeah. Joy. Joy. Just like. Beat. I've never heard this before and it sounds wicked. Serious? Yeah, it sounds insane. The remix had Notorious in it. Yeah. And uh, Buster. Yeah. They may have made it more well known, I guess. Yeah. Bad Boy Entertainment. Yeah. Oh. He, was on, he was on Bad Boy. Wow. Hang on, according to Wiki. Um, the success of Biggie's Ready to Die album overshadowed Mac's early success. Uh, but just a bad era. Biggie name dropped Mac. Yeah. In Big Papa, he goes, "I got more Mac than Craig." Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The stupendous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, iconic. All right, all right, all right. I got the next one for you. Yeah. Go. All right. Well, you, you, shout out to Eminem, and we're gonna take, give it to Slim Shady. Which one? Slim Shady, the song. Some what Slim we, Shady, you saw oh, the, the real Shady. Shady. Oh, yeah, 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 the yeah. Slim Shady is yeah. a Justin Matt Fading. the real That slip. was a real commercial hit worldwide. My Name Is... My, na- my Name Is was the first big yeah, commercial yeah. hit from Slim Shady LP. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. the real Slim Shady hit from the, the Marshall Mathers LP, that was like anyone could, could just yeah. sing it. You know what I mean? Everyone knew it. I was going to say, speaking of Slim Shady, I'll, um, I'm going to play something. You tell me what you reckon this is, man. All right? Just take a guess at what you think this is. As in what song or? Yeah. Ten bucks you've never heard of it. I'll let you listen to like 30 seconds of it. All right? Famous sample, but just listen to it. Mm. Just listen to it. Is it Big L beat? Yeah, Big L. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you know who this is? Okay, you guys are gonna hit yourselves. This guy's name is Milkbone. Re- released in '95. Okay, do you know what the? Do you know what the um? Do you know why it's it's worth knowing? He's white. This is in '95. Wow. This guy does not sound white at mm. all. Dude, yeah. This guy is, is this song's called "Keep It Real." Is in '95. Basically, a victim of wrong era. Yeah. Mm. He came out in a period just before Eminem, and there was just too much hype, like just too much hype around hip hop at that point in '95. So think about Park like getting big. Dre, Snoop, all these dudes, yeah? And Eminem... Uh, and they just overshadowed him, yeah. Eminem referenced on him on what I think is one of the best hip-hop tracks of all time, Just Don't Give a Fuck. Yeah, and he says, I'm nicer than Pete, but I want to search to crush a milk bone. I'm everlasting. I'm melt vanilla ice like silicone. That's He's bagging all the white rappers that they could possibly... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know oh, I mean? Just one line. And it's not like they... Apparently, he was meant to stand up and, like, take a crack at Eminem, and then, like, it all just went nowhere, la, la, la. 
if you listen to that track, it's sick, man. I, I smashed it when I first downloaded it, man. I'm driving around, listening to it. It's pure hip hop, pure East Coast hip hop, man. But just wrong place, wrong time. As far as uh, best hip hop tracks of all time, I've got. Shook one, uh, We're not gone in that yet. No, no, no I was no, going to no, say, no. Just Don't Give a Fuck was on that list, yeah? <laughs> okay. And I had to scale it back, because obviously I like Eminem. Yeah. yeah. Nothing past the recovery album, really, yep. except for his last one. But um, it was hard to, like, pinpoint one. So with me, with the best Eminem tracks, I probably didn't pick his best Eminem track. I picked the ones that probably, I think, are the most p- complete Eminem tracks. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway. All right, you were saying. Uh, what was your next thing? You were saying. Um, you gone past groups. You went to. It's got some so we're doing most verses. memorable uh, uh, choruses, choruses. Choruses. All right, so then we got to give it to California. It's time to party. Oh, California. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a sample. That's a Roger Troutman sample. Yeah, chorus, chorus, chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the chorus is legendary. Then we got Big Hypnotize. Yep. Yeah. Run DMC trick. I mentioned that before. This one is. I think it's just personally the next one is is just personally something that I just I just love, which is Ludacris's area codes. <laughs> to me, that's just so that's just so pimp when when you have no dog. I got hoes, I got hoes. Yeah. <laughs> that's just so much love for these bitches right there. Uh, then you got I think MC Hammer can't touch this. It's got to go with one of the most famous choruses. I how, think. Yeah, how is that track not on the list of top ten tracks yeah. of hip hop? Like, mm. dude. Who doesn't know what... My parents know what that is, man. Yeah, true. Seriously. And then you got a few there, which I don't know if they should be, like, in top 10, but then there's a few that popped in, like, you know, Hail Mary. Mm. Uh, yeah. Then you got, like, I forgot about Dre, you know. Yeah, Nowadays, yeah. everybody want to talk. Like, they got time <laughs> yeah. to save the See, again, stuff like you're that. thinking, like, that's 2000 rap. Like, that's literally the era of 2000. The Dre Chronic 2001 is the pinnacle of that mm. that period. You know what I mean? Actually, not even the pinnacle. It's the, It was the precursor of what was going to happen. Because after that, you had Marshall Mathers, LP, and you had a lot, a lot of other albums. Mm. Like the Restless album. You didn't like Restless? Or you didn't think Exhibit rated? Um, I don't know. Like, it's just something that I wouldn't really, like, return to. Okay. Kind of thing. I, I just, I have weird taste. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, so his product, I think, I, I think Exhibit is so hard on, on the mic. He's just, he just like razor sharp with his, yeah. with his voice, the way he just drops it. You I'm know? in Dubai. It's I like, rise yeah. the prize and I'm living it's like just, a spy. That's like, it. Like, on you fucks. Yeah. Fun fact, I think I told you that I saw Exhibit live in Frank's then. No. It was showing Frank's Whoa. then. What? <laughs> what? At the pier? Yeah. No shit. Uh, probably. When? <laughs> Five or six years ago, man. <laughs> no, nah, it's gonna be more than that, man. <laughs> nah, it, that was it. That was it. Yeah, because yeah, I was uh, maybe seven, eight years ago. Maybe I did la- you for real? last last year. I was at the pier listening to Bliss and Esso. They did a gig there. <laughs> I would have preferred. It makes exhibit. you think, like, how does this guy come from? He's, he's in the Up and Smoke yeah. tour, yeah. like <laughs> ten years ago, <laughs> to, to, to like in fucking Frankston. But the crowd you could imagine was obviously just fuck like crazy. Yeah, because it would have been people like our age. Venue was like. Oh, he was, you know, that's how far away we were from the yeah. stage, and it was absolutely <laughs> fucking crazy. But then it just makes you, like, inches, and I'm like, he's leaving in a van. <laughs> 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 you know, he went to Chapel Street or something, I you wonder, know. I wonder <laughs> if, his, if his promoters and managers actually looked into, like, Frankston no, as an area five, six years no, ago. No, because I, I remember he came and he did two shows. He did one at Track, which is, I guess, somewhat... Yeah. Respectable. I saw Jay yeah. Sean at Track. Right? <laughs> it's more but, respectable but than I guess, here at Frankston. <laughs> <laughs> um... I guess that's, like, they're all saying, like, you know, he fucked up, he's broke and stuff, or he was, nah. yeah. after Pimp My Ride and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and he had that. he had a bad run. He'd, he basically he'd, got yeah. pimped out by the Pimp My Ride people, and then he got cracked in the head with a bottle. Do you remember that? Yeah. He had, like, fucking 80, yeah. 80 stitches down the side of his face. That right? finished, and then it's kind of like, you the, know, he'll probably pocket 10, 20 grand for for one of these shows yeah, or something. He and the, It basically went past him, and he was just out of the limelight and just didn't release enough good material. You know. He fell off the aftermath wagon. You want to talk about Overlooked? All right, look at the Dre's Chronic 2001, right? In my opinion, one of the, one of the must-listen-to mm. albums for hip-hop. Like, you just... You can't, man. Nearly every track is, is just perfect, Yeah, right? banger, yeah. Yeah. Can you name an artist on that album that features in nearly every track? I got... Tem- tempted to just pull it up. But, uh... <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't do that. Um... There's one artist that features in nearly every track, more than Eminem, more than Snoop, more than all these people, man. And 
Um, Killing me. Uh, here, I'll, I'll play his track. He released it. He had an album. Just play it, play it, play it. Okay, this is this album. This track that I'm going to play isn't on that album, but it was on his next album that was meant to come out for him. I uh, don't oh, know it's going to be. Do you? Hitman Yeah. I miss these beats, man. Hey, well. Yeah. I came to say a little something. What? Uh, Hitman at your services. Highly intensive tongue talents making y'all nervous. Y'all faking. I'm 409 with my rhymes on purpose. Y'all hating. Pop up with Drake. Y'all nervous. Y'all waiting. Anticipating my arrival. California survivalists. Smash on any man rival this Blast on anyone who don't ride with him Y'all better buy my <laughs> shit <laughs> he's, a, he, he's involved in 11 tracks on 2001 Yeah That's crazy Wow People forget that After wow. the album basically, he, that, that was almost a group album that was, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Basically the deal with Hitman was that He was going to be the next Like you know Dre had Easy Then he had Snoop Then he had Eminem then Hitman was going to be the next one, yeah? Yeah. And that's why you had him, like, on nearly every track. You listen to his rhymes, man. He's not bad. Like, especially that track. That's his single off his unreleased album, which never got released, right? Yeah. I think you could find it online. But basically, he just didn't pop. Like, you know, the 2001, everyone remembers Eminem, Exhibit, Snoop. Like, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. big hitters and the, thing, and the thing is, like, I don't remember seeing him on any tours or anything nah. like that. So it's, nah, it's, it wasn't maybe, who knows, man? It could have been, who knows what's going on behind the scenes? It could have yeah. been something personal between well, the artists, well, you know what I mean? That was on nearly every song on one of the most iconic albums of our, like, generation. Yeah. To just disappear? It's sad, man. It's sad. It's just like, fuck, really? Like, you, speaking of, like, you know, being that close to the big time mm. and being on that album man like like you said how many songs was it 11 11 yeah Dude, yeah it's crazy it's crazy to to think that you could be on so many songs on one of the greatest albums and, and not and it shit. just disappear yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 it's insane what's uh what are we going to now what do you got uh choruses oh, you got more <laughs> um you want to add to that nah i'd put i'd put cypress Hill rap superstar in the chorus okay. bin yeah 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 for sure that- sure. This is one of the the best concerts. Not that I've been to too many concerts, but this is definitely one of the best ones out of the two that I've ever been to. <laughs> no, no, it was crazy. They were they were down here. I don't know, ten twenty years back, um, and it was. I think I told you about this. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy experience. It was a huge venue. I don't even know what the fuck it was. It was not at the Frankston at the pier. Yeah. But it, was at, it was at a big place, and I remember we were just standing in the crowd. And at one point uh, during the gig, you know, all the lights go off, and you just hear "Be Real" go. Everybody in the crowd light up a fucking joint now. <laughs> you know, so us three Soviets standing there, Beryl says light up a joint. Of course, we get out a fucking blunt, light it up, smoking that shit. All of a sudden, the lights just slowly, <laughs> slowly go back on. Yeah. Everybody's in the audience fucking smoking away. <laughs> And on stage, you just see this massive Buddha blown up doll with a huge marijuana leaf on its stomach. And he just starts going crazy, playing drums and dropping all these choruses. And it finishes the concert with Rap Superstar, Rock, oh, rock Superstar. It was a bang. I couldn't hear anything after the next day after that. Dude, Rap insane. Superstar, as far as I'm concerned, is... Crazy beat, crazy chorus, it's the everything. The pinnacle of like, their career, man. Like that peak. Because uh-huh. when that hit... It was like shit, man. Like they're they're back. You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. But that was two thousand, man. That was two thousand one. It was two thousand one, man. Two thousand two. It's also, I think, the real is is probably the only artist that has such a distinct not 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 sound, but an actual rap voice mm. where he raps so differently to the way he talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. really have any other artist that really does did it to such a difference. Yes, I did. Where yeah. he talk? <laughs> is that? Yes, did I you did. send that to me? Yeah. I yeah, did. yeah. Where he discusses He's how discussing he, how he got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you, at first when he did it as a joke. Yeah. And then everybody <laughs> started telling him, well, that actually sounds pretty fucking dope. So just keep going yeah. with it. Yeah. 